Good evening, everybody. This is Jim Zazzy coming to you from War Vets Field, where tonight the Bearcats are hosting Central Scarlet Dragons. Central comes in with a 3-0 record, beating uh, Bald Eagle, Phillipsburg, and Bal Belfont. Huntington, Huntington is 0-3 with the losses to P.O., Bald Eagle, and Tyrone. Huntington is going to be kicking off, so they'll be receiving in the second half. Nine and one. Jeff Hohenstein, number nine is John Beisinger, will be deep for Scarlet Dragons. Quarterback for Central is Jeff Hohenstein. He is the son of A.J. on the sideline who runs the offense. And here's the kickoff. Here we go. It's a nice kick going deep. Catch by Hohenstein to the left side. He's going up the left side and brought down by Huntington at the 26-yard line where it's going to be first down for the Scarlet Dragons at Our their own 26-yard line. Huntington comes out with a defense with a defense of uh, a 3-4. They'll rotate a linebacker up to make it look 4-3. Right now they're going to be showing a 3-4 defense with the Scarlet Dragons spread out. Split to the right and we got our first flag of the ball game. So Huntington a little fired up, and they jumped the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty, first down and five for the Scarlet Dragon. They're going to stay with the same play. Ball's on the left hash at the 30-yard, 31-yard line. <laughs> Honestein takes a snap, fakes the handoff, rolls right, and he wants to go deep. He has to throw it short to number 42. He catches to the 46-yard line, Hohenstein's number 42. To Ethan Eicher. Ethan Eicher. So Hohenstein did not panic. He rolled right and was under a little pressure, but instead of looking deep, he looked underneath. He was able to check it down. Sometimes high school quarterbacks have trouble checking things down to the shorter receiver. But Hohenstein did it. He got... Two guys in the backfield handed off the 26 for Central. Back Parker Gregg on the carry. With Parker Gregg. 11 on the play. Results in a first down for Central. Gregg is a 6'1 uh, junior for, the for Central. Cross 50 yard line to the 42 yard line. First down for Central at Huntington's 42 yard line. Central comes out now with. Uh, a tight end, wide receiver to the left side, and inverted slot in the right side, overthrows his man on a roll to the left side. Incomplete, First second down and 10. Luke Brown on the coverage. Brings up second down for Central. Ball's on the Huntington 42-yard line to the close hash, to the left hash, closer to Huntington's side. Motion right by the Scarlet Dragons. Fake it. Honstein keeps it. That's one thing we want to look at tonight. When you watch the video... We gotta watch the um, watch Huntington. Are they gonna hit any more? They they just haven't really no gain on stuck the it to anybody Bring yet. Third down and ten. And if there's anything that coach wants to get across with his From players, you've got to be able to stick people. And that was a good stick there. Second down, third down and ten now for Scarlet Dragons. Balls on the left hash. Balls on the 42 yard line. Slot left, slot right. Back to Hohenstein, fakes it, looking downfield. Now he's going deep. 
And he's got the ball at the 10, 12, 11 yard line. A big throw. The sideline is complete to number five, six foot five, Devin Boyle. That results in a first Devin Boyle, we had him third down and 10, but they completed the pass to 6'5", Devin Boyles. Ball spotted on the 11-yard line. First down. First down. Handed off up the middle. It finds a room, and he's in for the touchdown. Is number 32. Number 32, Hunter Smith. On Hunter the Smith for runs that ball in for the touchdown. touchdown. So we had him at third and 10. Could have forced him to punt. Two plays later, they're in the end zone, and it's a different scenario now for the Bearcats. 6 nothing, Scarlet Dragons. Here's a snap back for the extra point. And the extra point is up and it's good. So we're two minutes into the into the ball game. And it's Huntington uh, trailing now, 7 nothing. Central 7. The quarterback is, like I said, the quarterback for Central is Jeff Hohenstein. He's the son of A.J. who runs the offense. A.J. had the team here a few years ago. But with baseball, he's a head baseball coach. He just couldn't do them both. So he talked Baker into coming out of retirement. said, I'll run the offense, but uh, you got to run the whole team and run the defense, and I'll, I'll run the offense. And Baker said, okay, that's fine with me. So A.J. worked it out with uh, head coach Baker. A.J.'s one guy that doesn't have an ego out there. So Central will kick off here with the 7 nothing early lead in the ball game. Huntington goes deep now with number 35. Number four, Tyson Cook. Tyson Cook and 35, 35 Braylon Ronk. Braylon Ronk. The kick off for with Central. three number 53, blockers in front of him standing at the 30-yard line. Kicking off for Central is number 53. Austin Keith, senior, 5'11", defensive end, so he'll stay in the ball game. So we're going to check out Austin Keith's leg. We're standing at the 10-yard uh, line. He drives it down, taking it by the number four for Huntington. Gets to the left side, trying to find that seam. He does get to not quite the 30-yard line of the 29. So for Huntington, Tyson Cook brings that ball out to the 29. Huntington will take over. With the ball on the left hash. Huntington comes out with a wide slot to the home side of the field. I'm located on the visitor side, so if you know War Vets Field, you know that I'm away from the Huntington bench. Here's a snap back, handoff up the middle. Number 32, he gets out to the 32-yard line. It is Bainey. Second down for the Bearcats, and he's got second down and... Eight, eight yards. Bring up second down. And a long eight. Or a short seven. Or a short. Short eight. Yeah, a short eight, long eight. Ball still on the left hash for the Bearcats. Harmon, a quarterback, brings his wide receiver in motion. Handed off of the middle. He has a little seam and crosses the 35 Bainey to the carry. 36. The Bearcats are still short of the first down. 79, Dominic Wagner in on the stop. Wagner with a stop for Scarlet Dragon. You're going to be my spot man, you know that. Bring up a third down and three <laughs> for the Bearcats. Third down and three for the Bearcats. They go right to the line of scrimmage, but they signal the plays in. 
Ball still on the left side of the field, on the visitor's side of the field. Huntington goes in motion toward that left side. Hand off off the middle. He's trying to get that 38. Oh, he does get out there. Nice run. My eyes went off of Bainey to look to the sideline, and uh, next thing you know, he wheeled out of a tackle and got two more yards. That's and in a game like this, first down. what the Bearcats have got to do is try to establish some kind of running game. The if they can run the ball, the then they can control the clock a little bit. Like I said, Huntington had Central third down and ten. They could have stopped them there. It would have been nice. We go in motion to the wide side. Huntington runs right. And there's going to be, we're going to lose some yardage on this one. Tyson Cook on the carry. From the 40 back to the 29. We lost 8 or uh, 12 yards. Brought down by number 59, Mason Benford. For Huntington to stay in this ball game, they've got to establish a running game. Now you want possession of the ball, but you you definitely want um, to bring up second down and 22 to control the clock. And now Huntington's now in a situation with second and 22. They're going to have to throw the ball here. Whoops. I don't see a flag yet. He throws it downfield and tipped. Probably would have been intercepted at one tip, but incomplete. Third down, no flag. I don't think the Bearcats were set yet, but uh, no flag. Third down and 22. 7-15 left in the first period. Huntington trails here 7 nothing. It's going to be a tough season this year, but they're just getting ramped up for the coming years. A lot of underclassmen playing for the Bearcats. Going in motion to the Bearcats. Handed off up the middle. Not much yardage out to the 30-yard line. And it's going to be fourth down. And uh, Wrong going to carry. Third down and 20, or fourth down and 20. Landon Williams on stop for Central. So on fourth down, Huntington will be punting. Number four, Tyson Cook takes the snap, punts it. Nice punt. He drills him back to the 25-yard line, but he's got room to run. Again, Huntington is showing their lack of speed. Crosses midfield to the 40, 37-yard line. Number one, Demetrius Harbaugh on the return. So he outkicked his coverage. But the penalty's back, sitting back there at the 21-yard line, so it could be a break for the Bearcats. Because there wasn't anybody down at the 21-yard line for the Bearcats. Both teams are heading back up. Uh, that'd be southward, right? We'll call it yes. southward. So Central had a nice punt return, but blocking the back. And uh, the ball's being brought back to the 22. And then they're going to mark it back to the 16 yard line. Central takes over first down and 10 from at the, the 11. Yard line. So at the, uh, 11. 11. Excuse me, check that 11 yard line. After the penalty is accepted. So a nice penalty for Huntington, but they got to take advantage. they got field position right now. The Bearcats got to toughen up on defense here. Back to Hohenstein. Quick out to number 12. Hohenstein and number, number 42, Ethan Eicher. Pushed out of bounds by Luke Brown. Okay, he threw it to Iker. I swear it was a 12. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. First down six for six and a half remaining in the first Central quarter. at the 21-yard line. Come out. Slot right. 
Tires slot on the short side of the field. Underneath, he hits his man, number four, and he's off. He broke a tackle, 50, 40, 30. Bearcats are catching him, though. But he missed the tackle. He's in for a touchdown. Pass complete to number four, Hunter Klotz. That's a 79-yard touchdown pass. Seventy-nine yard touchdown pass for Jeffrey Honstein. And he hit his man Hunter Klotz for the touchdown. Here's the extra point. It's up and it is good. So with six fourteen left in the first quarter. It is Hun- Central fourteen Huntington zero. People, Huntington Bearcat football lost a great guy here a couple weeks ago. Tied in for the good team back in 1997, uh, Courtney Gettick. And uh, there is still contributions being taken on Courtney's name sent to the Booster Club. Send that. If you have a, a donation to make in Courtney Gettick's name, uh, send it to Jim Zalzik at 2401 Taylor Avenue in Huntington. Uh, I'll probably repeat this a couple times so you can get that address. If you want to send anything in Courtney's name, uh, Courtney's always battled uh, the sugar issue. And uh, I think it finally caught up to him. He was living in Texas. Austin Keith to kick off for Central. So, uh, anything you can send, we'll, we'll get it to uh, the Booster Club and uh, help pay for a couple of things. Because right now, this year, the Booster Club's booth is not open. So, the four home games, is playing it week by week, but it's, it's looking like the Booster Club's not going to be making any money. Here's a low kickoff. Fielded by Huntington Short, and we get out to the 35-yard line. First down, Huntington at their own 35, now trailing 14 nothing. Number 25, Cade Rule, and number 12, Caden Fisher. I'll get back to that, Courtney. Get a donation. I'll hit it a couple times this year, so if you missed that address... Six minutes, nine uh, seconds remaining in the first quarter. I'll get it off to you in the second period. Huntington has the ball at their own uh, 33-yard line. We go and the ball's on the right hash. Down. A little short. Out. Oh, nice catch by Cook. Harmon's pass complete to Cook. On the Huntington sideline, he gets out to... Of 11 yards and a first down for the Bearcats. He's an Iker on the stop for Central. That'll be a first down for the Bearcats. But first down and 10 at the 44 yard line. First down for Huntington now at their own 44 yard line. Central trying to crowd the line of scrimmage. They hand it off. He fakes the handoff. Harmon's trying to get the sideline. He does get, and he gets vertical. 40, 30. He breaks free at the 30, and he's out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Is pushed out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Is Harmon? 37-yard game. He faked it, and Darren used a little speed down that left side, broke a tackle at the 18-yard line. And it's going to be first down for Huntington at the 18-yard line. Huntington lining up now. they got to show some goal line offense here. Ball's on the left hash. It's a tough runk on the uh, the went in motion. Faked it up the middle and gave it to Runk. Going off tackle right. 
He does cross the line at scrimmage and got a yard or two. Mason Benfer on the stop for Central. Short gain on the play. Bring up second down and nine. From the 17 yard line. Huntington lines up here with 5.17 left in the first period. And now he's under center, rolls right, looking for a man. He's got a man. And it's complete. Harmon's pass is complete. At the six yard line. Pass was caught by number 17, Luke Brown. Falls on this eight. Yeah. Okay, this is where Brings I might up first end down up. and goal for the Bearcat. First down and goal on the completed pass to the eight yard line. Harmon now in shotgun brings his man in motion to the right, hands it off up the middle. And Bainey gets Bainey close to the, the fifth or the five yard line. The fifth yard line. Second down for Huntington. Trying to test that middle. Trying to test the middle. Every now and then, no matter how much good the defense, you got to test the middle every once in a while. Cook in motion. Hand it off. Or he fakes the hand off. Quarterback keeps it. He went off tackle. Trying to get to the five, but there are a flag. And a lot of times... Huntington goes in motion and turns it up too soon. And I'm guessing that might have been it there. Number 17, Luke Brown went in motion. And I'm guessing it's him that turned it up too soon. Up the 10 yard line. Back to the 10. We're at a low angle here, so it's hard to see the yard line. But on the five yard penalty, moves the Bearcats back to the 10 yard line. First down and goal. Second and goal for Huntington at their own 10 yard line. And Huntington's three losses. They did score first in all three games. Now Huntington. Smart time out here. They're not going to get that many Huntington opportunities to score. With four that, minutes uh, remaining in the first quarter, score Coach Shane Central has got 14, to uh, make sure zero. of all three downs left. Early in the ball game, even a field goal here wouldn't be that bad. Just to get something up on the board. But both teams huddling on the sideline. The ball is on the 10-yard line. I'll give you that uh, address again. Anything you want to send in the name of Courtney Gettick, send it to 2401-2401 Taylor Avenue. That's to Jim Zalzik at 2401. Uh, he's collecting the checks. From friends of Courtney Gettig. What's that mean? The Wi Fi here isn't the greatest, so it cuts in and out sometimes. The visual or everything? Well, it. It ends up making your audio as we resume the play. play. Second down and goal it, it for ends up making the Bearcats. Like, lag and you got to sync with your audio. Four oh, minutes remaining okay. in the first quarter. Okay. So if we're off, folks, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm just broadcasting. <laughs> it's the internet's fault here. It's not that good. Little jump pass by Harmon, but it. Harmon with a quick jump pass. It's completed, but it's only completed for about two or three yards. Completed to Luke Brown. Now we're looking at third down and goal. Third and at goal the at the six. Four yards on the pass play. Ball's on the right hash. We got a slot left. 
And tight end flanker to the right now. Runk goes in motion. A draw play. He's driving his feet, but he just cannot get across that five-yard line. Bainey on the carry. Bainey had a, a hole. Of scarlet a plethora. On the a plethora. <laughs> There's only one guy on that tackle. Okay. I think there's got one more down. I mean, this is uh, six and twelve. One. I think it's close enough to get three out of it, but in a game like, yeah, they're going to kick a field goal. I don't have a, a problem with that. They got to get some points when they get down inside here. Down, kicks up, he boomed it. And it's good. Aaron Harmon gets the Cook. snap and hold down. Harmon hold. Cook kicks Cook it. Cook kicks it straight through. Two minutes, 32 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Central 14, Huntington 3. Where is that from? 23. Thank God the mirror is here. <laughs> I know. All right. So what's the score? 21 to, 21 to 3. Hang 14. in there, Bearcat. That's what I said. 14. I know. <laughs> Somebody support me. Now I'm writing down 21. All right. 14 to 3. No, it's 3 14. You always give the home team first. Number four, Tyson Cook to kick off. For so America. Cook's going to kick off for Huntington. We got three on the board. Harbaugh and Klotz back deep for Central. Uh, come on, little AJ. Turn us to number nine. Check that Bicinger back deep. Oh, nice kick. Put him in the end zone. Touchback. Yeah, Bisinger was deep with number one. Cook kicks it into the end zone for a touchback. I think we got a kicker. I think we got a kicker. He Central nailed the field goal, and, and he nailed the kickoff. Two minutes so you got something positive to work on quarter. here. But the defense has got to come up with a stop here. For the Bearcats, 2.31 left in the first period. Central 14, Huntington 3. The defense got to crank it up a little bit here. Try to get three and out. Hand off, up the middle. And he scrambles for about uh, three yards. Greg on the carry. Percentage. Greg on the carry. Hand off up the middle three yards. 76, Sam Colbertson in on the stop. Along with number 78, Chase Summers. Second down. Seven. One in the backfield now with Honestein. I'll never understand why defensive linemen have to jump. Don't look at your man. Look at the ball. Huntington offside, five-yard penalty, moves the ball out to the 29-yard line, where is now second down and one. After the five-yard penalty, brings up second down and one at the 29-yard line for Central. Scarlet Dragons come out of the huddle, one in the backfield. Snap back, looking to throw, hits his man over the middle, but he's hit right away, and he goes down at the 40-yard uh, line. First down, a good sign there was he caught the ball and it was brought down. Number 42, Ethan Eicher on the reception. Eicher on the, recep on the, on the reception the and Cook on the tackle. For a central first down. A, first down a little quicker, he could have knocked that down. 
but first down at the 40-yard line. One back, snap back. Hohenstein looking to throw again. He's got his man down the right side, and he's just out jumping everybody. He's six foot five, and hits number five. Hohenstein's pass is complete to number five. Devin, Devin Boyles. Boyles is a six five Boyles, junior. Central first down. So a first down and 10 at the 37 yard line. Here's the issue Huntington has to deal with for the next few years. Hone signs a sophomore and Boyles is the junior. Hand it off. They fumbled it and Huntington's got the recovery. It's recovered by number 77, Mason Summers. And I believe 32 calls the in, right uh, the fumble. The Miles Bainey got his hand in there to make the tackle and got his hand in the right Bainey spot. The Greg, 26, Greg. Yep. So Huntington takes over at their own 33-yard line. Snap back. And one of the running backs, they went right to the uh, Runk on the carry. To Runk. And he immediately hit the line a little quicker than just getting the hand off from me. The the one thing I did like was if you're going to give line, it to a running back, and they're just going to follow certain back. blockers. Why are you giving it to the quarterback? All he's doing is handing it off. And then he stands there and watches. Use him as another blocker. Snap right to the guy and go right to the hole. Run your blocking accordingly. Second down and six for Huntington in mar in motion. It's Huntington to the right, but he's trying once again up the middle with Bainey on the Miles, Miles Bainey. No gain on the play. And it's now going to be third down and six. First quarter comes to an end the with the score the Central quarter. 14, Huntington Central 3. 14, Huntington 3. I got it out before you did. I'm going to light things up around here. <laughs> so Huntington has the ball at the third, their own 36-yard line when they switch the field. There's Coach Baker to your left, right down there. Coach Baker, he, he does his coaching Monday through Thursday. And he's got a good staff behind him. A.J. taking the offensive side. And I'm not sure. I, I know that uh, what's his name's on the defensive side. Uh, uh, yeah. No, the old baseball guy. No, I talked to him. Is Joey called? Is Joey Kitt? Yeah, Joey Kitt. Joey Kitt's been around the block, too. Remember trying to coach against him. Denny Cower is on that uh, defensive side, too. Denny's a, a baseball guy, too, up at Central. Got to talk to Denny a little bit. He's a junior and a graduate, but he's been in Central most of his life. Not all of his life. 36. 36-yard line. Huntington comes out and goes right to the 36. Beginning of the second quarter, Huntington has 17. Luke Brown flanks out here wide to the right. Ball's closer to the left hash. We go in motion. Harmon has it. He's under a little pressure. Throws it incomplete. Boy, that was a prayer. He floated it to Cook. At number 26. Parker Gregg. That'll bring up fourth down. Okay, you beat me to that one. Parker Gregg knocked it down, but that hang any more. Parker had uh, six, or, uh, six points. Fourth down and six for Huntington. Huntington's got a punt. Cook back to punt. Now we go in motion right. It's going to be a soccer punt, Block. and he gets it blocked. Right at the 25-yard line. 55, Landon Williams on the block. Of Landon the Williams on the block for Central, and they take over at the 25-yard line of Huntington. Central have first down and 10 from the 25-yard line. 11 minutes, 52 seconds remaining in the second quarter. 
please punt the ball. Just punt the ball. They'll run a regular punt. They'll run a uh, that rugby style running punt, which is not a bad punt. It it does help in certain situations, but not in that one. Fake to the cross buck. Now he's thrown it deep, incomplete. Pass Good play. When when you uh, get a turnover, first thing you want to do after a turnover, the other team's heads down. Try one deep. They didn't quite get it to the end zone, but it was a pass. Second down and ten. I know AJ's old school. Central comes out now with twins in the backfield with a uh, young AJ. Hands it off and gets down inside the 15. Probably good for a first down. Number 55, yep. Briar DeLine on the stop for the Bearcats. But after the run, that'll be a first down. First for down Central. for Central at the 14 yard line. First down and 10 at the 14 yard line. Central comes in 3-0, and Huntington 0-3. and Central has wins over Bald Eagle, Phillipsburg, and Belfont. So he beat a couple good teams there in Belfont and uh, Bald Eagle. And not a bad win over Phillipsburg. Hohenstein rolled right, throws underneath, incomplete, right around the two-yard line. Hohenstein's pass falls incomplete. Hollenstein walks just like his old man. <laughs> He's got an A.J. walk to him. Leisinger was the intended receiver. I don't, know, I don't know if mom's listening or not. Maybe she's up. No, maybe she's not up here. With all the, again, the school district had to cut back on number of people in there. It sounded good about a day or two ago, but they had to cut back again. Hohenstein takes a snap, a little shuffle pass underneath. He's looking to turn up. He does turn up, but only gets a yard or two. Hohenstein with a shuffle pass into Ethan Eicher. Eicher on the run there, number 42. I'll tell you, good athletes have that, that uh, little bow in their step. Just a little bow legged. And that's what uh, Jeffrey Hohenstein has. Third down, Third down for and about nine. six. Hohenstein has it, and he scrambles Hohenstein across the, the five. Probably good enough. Yep, good enough for the first down. Then again, I could be wrong. Comes up just short of the first down. Yeah, he's short a yard. Fourth down. He's at the five and the. First down markers. Fourth and one. If I was Huntington, I'd bring in two more players if the referees catch it. <laughs> I, I, that's good strategy. <laughs> Run 13 at them. See if they catch it. <laughs> because there goes Hohen. Whoa, he got hit. Oh, he fold, uh, fell forward. Hohenstein hit initially. But I think uh, number four hit him. Cook. for a central first down. Cook did a nice job of coming up on that and nice hit him at the six. The the and he could have got the loss and we could have got the ball. But Be first down and goal with the two-yard line for Central. Jeff Hohenstein spun minutes, out of the tackle seconds remaining in the and was quarter. able to lunge forward across the five Check to the four. So now it's first and goal for the Scarlet Dragon. Trips left. He rolls left. He's under a little pressure. Perimeter defense at Huntington came up on him. He had to tuck it down and try to find he a seam up the there, and he found the seam. The extra point's up, and it's good. Extra point is good. Out of the hold of Hohenstein with 9 minutes, 14 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Your score, Central 21. Huntington three. So that touchdown now Central takes a twenty-one to three lead. 
With 9.14 left in the first half. We're still under experimental situation down here with the audio video. Except for the PA announcer. He's, he's good at this. Well, Derek's going to work this out, right? It's the, it's the internet. I don't know how... We're blaming the internet. Sure, it's not human beings, it's the internet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so we are at 914 left in the first half, 121 to 3. Bearcats are battling a little bit here. But they haven't made Central punt yet. That's the thing I'm looking for. Can you make Central punt the ball? Huntington has four up front, two guys right behind him. That's six. And then we got three back at the 24-yard line and two deep with uh, Cook and I believe Miles Beeney. No, Braylon Runk. Yeah, that's Runk. Here we go. Kickoff for Central, leading 21 to three, coming down to Cook at. 12, 13 yard line. He's brought okay, down at turn. the 28 yard line. Stop by number two, Jeff Hohenstein. Check that. Number six. Yeah, Jeff just walked on the field. So Huntington has the ball. For Huntington at the 29 yard line. Nine minutes, nine seconds remaining in the second quarter. Harmon is now a wide receiver, and they got a new quarterback. Yeah, they're just running the Wildcat. He gets across the 25 to the 26-yard line. 32 miles, Baney on the carry. Branson Dodson on the stop on, for Central. Yep. Yeah. I accidentally knocked Gain it off. Two on the play. So I'm, I'm still in that. Second down and eight. That mode. Running the Wildcat again. Harmon runs off tackle. Gets to the 40. Crosses the uh, to the 35. Crosses the 35 to the Wrong 37. Going to He's going to be short about a yard. Yeah. And it's going to be third down and one. They're going to stay in the sh uh, the, uh, the, the Wildcat. And right now for Huntington, Braylon Runk, he's battling his way, got the first down. A little moxie there by the Huntington Bearcat with the carry. running back, a wild back Gains the two yards running back, the gets across the 40-yard line to the 41-yard line. First down and they hit him at the 37, but he was able to push himself forward across the first down marker, first down Bearcats. At their own 41-yard line. One, that's one little step at a time. Back under center. Ooh, 75 is all over that on that handoff. Oh, I'd love to see who. Uh, 35, Ronk. Ronk on the carry. Who was that? 75. All right, must be 76. Jared Wagner, maybe. <laughs> Let's go with Wagner on the stop. Now we're 70. Oh no, back. <laughs> Lock of two on the play. He's second down and long. <laughs> He's right there. I don't think it was Wagner. Snap back. Rolling left now. Fakes a throw. He's got some running rooms. Cross the 50. First down. Bearcat. We had two first downs in a row, and the fans are. Standing up, going run. nuts right now. Stop by number 42, Ethan Eicher. Ethan Eicher on the stop. It, he faked it, rolled left, was really looking to throw, looking to throw, but he had daylight in front of him and was able to turn it up, broke a tackle, and cross his midfield. They can read that scoreboard. First down and 10, Bearcat. They run in motion to the right side. They roll right. 
running play all the way, but he's trying to get vertical, and it's Cook brought down. He never got vertical on that one. Two-yard loss, number 26. So on a two-yard loss, moves him back to Huntington territory at the 49. Parker Gray. Second and 12. And number nine, Beisinger on the stop for Central. Bring up second down and 13. Huntington now back at the 49-yard line. Culbertson, Somers, Somers. Or in the back, uh, up on the line for Huntington. Here's a pass, incomplete. Harmon's pass intended for Cook ball. A little three. high over Cook's head, catchable ball. 32 Hunter Smith. And That'd be a little bit more on, on the coverage Cook's Central. side to catch that ball. He had to jump for it. Bring up third down through his hands. The Bearcats from the 49 yard line. For Huntington, the offensive line is okay. I thought I was all set for that. Oh, that's a D-line. What am I looking at? That's eh, too late. We'll catch it next time. I know there's moms out there. I want their kids' names. Ball's on the right hash. Third down. He shoves was out, but he gets back to the 50-yard line. It's going to be fourth down. Should be punt formation. At least put... Central and bad Short field position. Loss on the play. It's it's third down and uh, bring up fourth down or fourth down and fifteen. Cook will punt. Fourth down fifteen. I don't think Cook will be uh, running with it. Now he punts it. He gets a nice one off. Comes down and fumbled at the thirteen yard line. Huntington should be able to get on it, but they don't. And now Huntington's lack of speed is going to kill him. He's out to the 50-45. He breaks the tackle there. Brought down by our punter. And no flag on the play. He returns it to the 37-yard line. Central will have first down and 10 from there with five minutes, one second remaining in the second quarter. Oh, there was a flag. There it is. They are walking by. There's two good punt returns by Central being called back. Yep. Yep. Holding by Central on the return. They had two great punt returns. After the holding penalty, but uh, both of them are called back for penalties. Back. Well, maybe it's because of the holding. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe they just held the right guy. Central be the 28 yard line, first down and 10. Five so Central is pulled field. back to the 28 yard line of their of uh, of their own, and it's first down for Central. Balls on the right hash. Shuffle pass underneath. We slowed him down, but he got his feet back, and he's up to the 40 yard line. Gets to the 42-yard line is big number 32. Hunter Smith on the carry. Number 55, Breyer the line on the stop for Huntington. That will be enough for a central first down. First down and 10 at the 40. That was Hunter Smith, a little shuffle pass to him. And we had him for a, a two-yard gain, but he broke out of that tackle. And now he got out to the 42-yard line. First down, central balls on the left hash. They go in motion. Nice throw. Nice throw. You sure he's a junior? I feel like I'm playing Tyrone here. Yeah, yeah, Hunter's Number 21, Matt yeah. Crossley on the stop for the Bearcats. The gain of seven on the play. Yeah. Bring up second down and three from the 49-yard line. His mother's probably listening to me, too. Four minutes remaining in the second quarter. Second down and eight. I met him when he was a little guy. I haven't met him for a while. Hand off left side. They had him. He breaks it, and he is gone. He's out running 
guys into the end zone for a touchdown. Number 26. Number 26, Parker Gregg. Parker Gregg. 51 yard touchdown. 51 yards. For Central. And now it's. Uh, He's going to attempt the extra point. Extra points up. Ooh. Is that I, point I, is yeah, no good? one left. As soon as I write down 28, and then he misses an extra point. Missed to his left. With three minutes, 45 seconds remaining in the second 345 quarter, left in the first half. It's 27 to 3. The Golden Dragons. We'll be back next week right here on Huntington against somebody. It's not Penn's Valley. So who's left? Belfont, I knew it was Belfont. You sure? Yeah. Okay. We'll be back here next week against Belfont. And they will be away. And you only get a visual on that one. Number 53, Watkins. That's what I'm going to Watkins Glen. You got to see Watkins Glen. That's nice up there. Yep. I was up there with a very badly sprained ankle, and I walked up this cove. It's really neat. There's water coming down. It's beautiful setting, fall. But I couldn't get to the top because my ankle was just throbbing. So I said, I'm going to pick a Friday and go up there, and hopefully my wife can get off work. If not, I'll just go by myself. Tyson Cook. Folks, does it feel like I'm talking to you just one-on-one? On one? That's the way it is. 27-3. We're back to football here. Huntington's going to return to kick. It's going down. Drop. Picked up by Runk. He found the seam. Ooh, he could have stayed outside. But he gets across the 30-yard line to the 33-yard line. up to the 33 Number 28, Bryson Broomball in on the stop for Central. Broomball on the stop for Central. And Huntington will take over. The ball's on the right hash. First down and 10, Huntington at the 33-yard line. 40 is checked in Three minutes, to Huntington. 38 seconds remaining in the second quarter. 40. Can't be 40. Oh, I can't even read my numbers right We go in motion, hand it off, 32. and 32 is Miles Beeney stopped Beeney on the carry. for a three-yard loss. Yeah, isn't that a 40 going off? See, that's yeah. not me. That's Bryson Sheffield. It's Bryson Sheffield. He's number 40 tonight, not 74. Oh, really? Yeah, Bryson Chuck. Uh-huh. See, folks, I got knowledgeable people up here. Yep. Bryson Sheffield's moved to a skilled position on that last play. Second down for Huntington. Harmon, Harmon looking. Harmon. Throwing Harmon. out in a flat, overthrows him. Harmon's pass intended for Luke Brown falls incomplete. So it's going to be third down and 12 for Harmon's the Bearcats. And number 42, Ethan Iker. It's going to bring up third down and long for the Bearcats. Third and what's probably going to happen with the Bearcats, you get to the second half. There's eight games. On. Once you get to the second four, you might see Harmon back out at wide receiver and bring in the underclass quarterback for the Bearcats. Which I believe is. Harmon, 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 Harmon. Oh, a nice catch. 17. Yeah, a nice catch by 17 over the middle. Harmon two yards short. But he hit Luke Brown over the middle, and Luke made a nice catch. Hohenstein on the tackle for Central. It's going to bring up fourth down and five. I think Carter Miller. Cook 
Might be the other quarterback. So Huntington short by about three yards, but nice pass and catch. Back, punts it. Oh, baby. He's got it up in the air. He's calling for a fair catch, fumbled it, but he's down on his knee. I'm not quite sure why he fair caught it. It's, I think he was intimidated just by the height of the ball. But the problem is he outkicks his coverage. He still had a chance to catch it and try to get some yardage. But Central takes over at the 25-yard line. 2.06 left, and the score is 27-3. Just in case you didn't catch a PA and that's all on that one. <laughs> First down central. Jeff Haas, Stetter, Hohenstein out to the sideline, got his man, and Klotz is knocked out of bounds by number 17, Luke Brown. First down for central. They'll have first down and 10. Not sure what the talent looks like for Central in the future, but I do know that uh, there's a couple catchers and uh, and Hohenstein throwing the ball. That they're going to be around for uh, another year or two. Go in motion to the wide side. They get trips to the wide side. Fake the handoff under. See, now they run a little screen. He's got his man. Oh, he goes to his knees. We do tackle at the 45-yard line. We're just diving at people's legs. Number four, Tyson Cook. 53 has to check out. Bring up second down and two. Austin Keith has to check out. From the 40. Checking in with Williams. Keith has a walk-off cramp or something. Didn't look serious, but he is. He's trying to avoid the trainer. That's what she's trying to do. Second down and two for the Scarlet Dragon. Ball's on the left edge. Fakes it. Looks to throw. Over the middle. He's got his man underneath at the 40 down to the 35-yard line. Josh Bicer. And uh, Devin Boyles on the catch. And 10. The 36-yard line. And Devin's a junior. One minute remaining in the second quarter. Double slot. One back. Looking to throw. Down the middle. Oh, he separated the defense. Hit his man down the middle. Another leg tackle, but we bring him down at the six-yard line. So they did a good job of separating the safeties there and has ran 42 the game for Central. First down and goal. Iker down the middle. From the eight yard line. 42. seconds remaining in the first half. A.J. Hohenstein not panicking, letting the clock run because he feels... He can still use a timeout or two and end up not letting Huntington get the ball. He's rolling right now. He's throwing a lobber in the end zone, incomplete, with 17 seconds. Boyles falls incomplete. 16.9 seconds remaining in the half. Second down and 10. Second down. Now he's thinking if he wants to get three downs in here, this has got to be a quick pass. And a quick timeout. If not, he's only going to get two plays off. All right. We got people to the right. He's got blockers to the right. He's going to go right. He rolls right. Hohenstein still has it. He still has it. Now he throws back against the grain. Incomplete. Oh, and it's no flag, but the thing is, he took a little too much off the clock. 
8.7 seconds remaining in the first half. Third down and goal from the 8 for Central. So it's third down and goal from the 8. But uh, young Jeffrey Hohenstein. It's going to be timeout for Huntington. Their second timeout of the half. They have one remaining. Score is 27 to 3. Scarlet Knights are trying to get into the 30s before the uh, end of the first half. Not a lot of pressure. But Hohenstein rolling to the right, trying to throw back against the green, deep in the left end zone, but a little bit overthrown. So it is third down and third and goal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah third and goal at the eight yard line. Third down and goal from the eight yard line. 8.7 seconds remaining in the first half. Again, eight seconds. He can still get two plays off here. No, and AJ, I think he's going to go for, uh, uh, I'm not sure. If he gets nothing here, but they are spreading out here on the offense. They got two left, two right. Double slot, a wide double slot. One running back in the backfield. Here we go. Snap back. He's looking to throw. He's going to be a little. Oh, he, he lobbed it up. He's going to get in the end zone for a touchdown. They ran a middle screen. With a bubble screen in the middle. And he almost overthrew his man. He threw it high enough. I shouldn't say he overthrew his man, but he threw it high enough that only. Uh, number 53, Austin. Number 26. To attempt the extra point out of the hold of Hohenstein. Parker Gregg on the carry. Once he carried, caught the ball and got down, he had blockers in front of him at the seven yard line and took it in for the touchdown. Good call. Base Central, here's the extra point. It's up. Looks good, and it is good. Extra point is good. And the first the half the is going to come to an end. Four, Central 34, Huntington 3. The Central takes a 34-3 to three lead. And watch the marching band and color guard under the leadership of Mr. and Mrs. Tanner here at halftime. Middle screen and made it 34 to 3. So we're at halftime here. Not exactly what we wanted. And it's 34 to 3, Huntington. What do you need? So one more time, if uh, anybody out there wants to send a donation in the name of Courtney Cook, our tight end from, can't believe, 22 years ago. Uh, they send it to 2401 Taylor Avenue. Send it to Jim Zalzig at 2401 Taylor Avenue. And we'll make sure that it gets to the Booster Club. Make the check to the Honey uh, War Vets Field, WVF. Make the check, WVF Scoreboard Committee. Scoreboard committee. Okay. Uh, we do want to congratulate two of Huntington's golfers. Oh, look at this! We got light. This is great. I can read now. Two golfers, Brandy or Brady Handy. I know Brady used to be in my varsity club. And Ryan Marshall. So those two golfers will be moving on October 19th. Aldiesburg 9 nothing. Yep. We're getting scores here across the wire. Uh, you, Mount Union 15. Mount Union 15. Mo Valley nothing. Hi. Ooh. Well, Mo Valley's either up or yeah. down. Juniata Valley 35. Um, Claysburg nothing. Yeah, same with Claysburg. Tussie Mount okay, 21. Juniata Valley 35. What's that other one? Glendale or Tussie Mount 21. Glendale nothing. Tussie Mountain 21. Glendale nothing. Southern Huntington 28. Southern Hunting. Good evening, everyone. 28 the to 2. Student Council would like to Southern welcome Huntington. you to the 2020 homecoming ceremony for Huntington Area 21-6 uh, Bellwood over Williamsburg. 
The student council would like to thank We're everyone on a roll for their here. support and cooperation in the homecoming festivities. What about the Pittsburgh yes, Pirates? What are they doing? Student council extends its gratitude and Did Manning okay who we're trading or who we're keeping? Clearfield, 28, yeah. Pittsburgh, nothing. 28, nothing, Clearfield. They're back playing now. They're out for a... The HAHS cheerleaders. The Honeymoon Marching Cats. Penta? Penns Valley 14 nothing Thank over you. Duff on at halftime. This year, our Close to the half. All right, second quarter. With the nod to the well, and Brady Handy and Ryan Marshall finished third and fifth, respectfully, at the District 6 AA Golf Championships at Scotch Valley. That earned the Bearcats a trip. To her uh, Heritage Hills Country Club in York, Pennsylvania, on October 19th. Good luck to Handy and Ryan Marshall. Now, if I turn my mic off, can they still hear the band? I gotta keep the mic on. So you gotta keep your language down. So Not too much color in the commentary. An opportunity <laughs> to view the finished product. Okay, well, you haven't Voting said anything was yet. So. Over the past several days, hey. and the winner will be announced in just a few moments. Right now, we would like to introduce you to the Mr. Huntington candidate. Can you tell if they're able to hear the band? <laughs> First up is Miles Bainey. Yeah, Miles Bainey is the son thingy. of Frank and Katie Bainey of Huntington, yeah, the brother to Seth Bainey. He has been a letter winner oh, in football right. for three years oh, yeah. and is now a captain on the football team. This is, uh, he has also been a letter winner in wrestling for four years. This is homecoming. And has gone to the state tournament for wrestling for so the last two years. Listen to our PA he announcer. part of the varsity club. In his free time, he enjoys going to the lake with his yeah. friends and spending time with family and his girlfriend. His future plans there are to go. be an active member in the Army National Guard while attending Indiana University of Pennsylvania to yeah. major in criminology. Miles Bainey. Yeah. Miles <laughs> Bainey. What the hell? Next up, we have Luke <laughs> Brown. Yeah, guys, Luke is the son of Ed and Autumn Brown of Huntington, this is and one brother thing I've never of Gabby, allowed. Chloe, and Lincoln. During his free time, he likes to hunt, fish, and spend time with his friends. His future plans include going to college and getting a job in criminal justice. Luke Brown. Next up is Briar Deline. Briar DeLine is the son of Jason and Lori DeLine and the brother of J.C. DeLine. He has been a letter winner for the Bearcat Wrestling Team for three years and has participated in track for two years and is now currently on the Bearcat Varsity Football Team. He made first team Mountain League in wrestling his sophomore year. Briar was the treasurer for the junior class. In his free time, he enjoys lifting, hunting, and fishing. His future plans include going to the military. Friar the line. Next up is Brady Handy. Brady Handy is the son of Tracy and Mike Handy of Huntingdon and brother of Alyssa Geyer and Kayla Stakes. He has been a letter winner of for golf and baseball for the last three years. Brady is a member of the National Honor Society, Key Club, Student Advisory Board, and he is a champ captain. In his free time, he enjoys being outdoors, working with his father, and being with his friends and family. His future plans are to join the workforce and eventually start his own construction company. Brady Handy. And last we have Tanner Park. Tanner Park is the son of Tim Lear and Heather Allen of Huntington. He is the brother of Logan, Vincent, Rachel, Mason, and Jackson Lear. Tanner has been a letter winner in both the Bearcat football and volleyball team and has served as the vice president of his class. During his free time, Tanner enjoys weightlifting, 
spending time with friends, and late night sheets runs with Eli. <laughs> After graduation, Tanner plans to attend college and pursue a degree in business. Tanner Park. Sheets business. Everyone loves late night sheets runs. <laughs> That's good. The results are in. This year's Mr. Huntington is Luke Brown. Congratulations, Luke. And now, allow me to introduce the 2020 Homecoming Court. First up is Hayden Carlin, escorted by Brady Candy. There's players in the locker room. Carlin is the daughter of Abby and Josh Payne of Petersburg and Chris and Brandy Carlin of Huntingdon. She is the sister to Kendall Carlin and stepsister to Taylor Carter, Bryson Boozle, and Madeline and Caitlin Payne. Hayden is a member of National Honor Society, Key Club, the Student Advisory Board, Teens Against Tobacco Use, and she is a champ captain. She is also a part of the track and field team and a captain of the cheerleading squad. Outside of school, she enjoys spending time with friends and family and working at the Meadows Pros and Custard. After high school, she plans on attending college to pursue a bachelor's degree in nursing. Hayden would like to thank her classmates for giving her the opportunity to be on the 2020 homecoming court. She wishes the best of luck to Amanda, Ellie, Lindsay, and Sydney. Hayden Carlin. Next we have Lindsay Fisher, escorted by Luke Brown. Lindsay is the daughter of Raymond and Heather Fisher of Heston. She is the sister of Logan, Landon, and Raylan. During her free time, Lindsay likes to spend time with her family and friends as well as travel. After graduation, Lindsay plans to pursue a degree in psychology. She's excited to be able to experience this with all of her friends. Lindsay wants to thank all of her classmates, friends, and family for giving her this amazing opportunity. She wishes the best of luck to Hayden, Amanda, Ellie, and Sydney. I'd like to see what Lindsay today. Fisher. These guys are not going to be in the locker room at all. Next, we have Amanda Gwynn, escorted by Miles Bainey. Amanda is the daughter of Alan and Heather Gwynn of James Creek and sister to Rachel and Natalie Gwynn. She is vice president of both Key Club and NHS and has also been a part of the Positive Schoolwide team and prom committee. She is the captain of the varsity soccer team and part of part of the varsity track and field team. In her spare time, she enjoys playing sports and spending time with her friends, boyfriend, and family. Her future plans are to attend college in to major in criminal justice or psychology, and then continue on to law school. Amanda would like to thank her classmates for the opportunity to be on homecoming court with her friends and wishes the best of luck to each of the other candidates. Amanda Gwynn. I miss call Central. Next, we have There's Sydney Hell, Dragon, escorted by yeah. Jeremiah Sacco. I miss call her name one time. Sydney is oh, the daughter is. of John and Deb Hout. She is the sister to Jordan Hout. Sydney is the president of Varsity Club, a member of the yeah, National Honor Society, Prom Committee, Positive Schoolwide, and the Youth Leadership Program. She is also a member of the Varsity Swim Team for the high school a part of the Blair Regional YMCA swim team, as well as USA Swimming. 
In her spare time, she enjoys volunteering at the Humane Society and spending time with family and friends. After graduation, Sydney would like to attend college and pursue a career as a physician, physician's assistant specializing in dermatology. She would like to thank her classmates and peers for giving her the opportunity to be part of homecoming court. She sends her best wishes to Amanda, Hayden, Lindsay, and Ellie. Sydney, help! Last, we have Elizabeth Kyle, escorted by Andrew Cunningham. Ellie is the daughter of Keith and Katie Kyle of Huntingdon and the sister of Charlotte Kyle. Ellie is the president of Student Council as well as a Red Cross Blood Drive Coordinator. She is also a member of the National Honor Society, Teens Against Tobacco Use, Ski Club, Yearbook, the Student Advisory Board, and the Varsity Basketball Team. She was also in the HAHS musical Catch Me If You Can. During her free time, Ellie enjoys running, for small art business, Ellie K Creations, spending time with family and friends and working at the Meadows Frozen Cluster. After graduation, Ellie plans to attend a four-year college to pursue a degree in government and or business. Ellie would like to thank her classmates for this wonderful experience and wishes the best of luck to the rest of the girls. Allow me to introduce our flower girls for this evening. Our little princesses, we have Evelyn, Gwen, and Catherine Geisler. Evelyn Ann Geisler is the daughter of Matt and Jen Geisler. She attends pre-K at Southside Elementary School, and Evelyn enjoys coloring, playing games, organizing her toys, and playing with her sisters and brother. Gwen Vivian Geisler. She is the daughter of Matt and Jen Geisler. She attends pre-K at Southside Elementary School, and Gwen enjoys playing Uno, swinging, and wrestling with her brother, Elliot. Catherine Lee Geisler is the daughter of Matt and Jen Geisler. She attends pre-K at Southside Elementary School. Catherine enjoys riding her bike, coloring with her sisters, Morgan and Abby, and playing family. Our little princesses. Playing family. And now, an introduction of our former queen, Roseanne Zorner. Roseanne is currently enrolled at IUP for Family Consumer Science. She is currently learning online. She also has a part-time job and hopes to join the field hockey team next year as long as everything is back to normal at IUP. She wishes the best of luck to all the girls on court. Thank you, Roseanne. And now for the crowning of the homecoming queen. Huntington Area High School's homecoming queen for the 2020-2021 is Ellie Kyle. Congratulations.
Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Good. <laughs> I was starting another ball game. So we're at halftime here at War Vets Field. It's uh, 34 to 3 in favor of the team in red over the team in blue. That is the Central Scarlet Dragons. We'll be kicking off to the Bearcats. I believe. Uh, they're going to be kicking off right to left. Well, that's not right either because I'm on the opposite side of the field. So what's that mean? Well, it's not right to left. Well, the camera's right. over here. She, camera's she over here. Okay. Yeah, and then they're kicking off right to left. 34 to 3. Central scored first. The height and and then Central scored again on a 79-yard pass to make it 14-0. But Huntington came back with a nice little drive and a 23-yard pass or a 23-yard field goal by uh, the Cookster to make it 
Tyson yeah. Cook to make it uh, 14 to 3. And it, it, some things had to go right. We had a third down and 10. And I think at third and 10, that uh, if we could have held them there, they punt the ball. Could have been a little bit different. I'm not saying we're not going to be ahead 34 to 3, but it, it would have been a little bit different in that first period. The kickoff for Central. So Central will be kicking off right to left. Tyson Cook. And bring them wrong back deep for the Bearcats. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, and eleven. He's got thirty nine, forty players. There's one down here. He's got thirty nine, forty players out for football. Hmm, you guys that are not sure if you want to play football or not, you might want to double think this. Here's a kickoff. We're starting the second half. Line drive caught at the 11-yard line by Cook. Up the middle, he's got a little running room. Crosses the 30 to the 32-yard line. First down, Bearcats. For the Bearcats, brought down by number 18, Jason Clark for Central. Jason Clark Bring up on the tackle. Down 10 for the Bearcats at the 31-yard line. Central does a good job of uh, their whole kickoff team, or nine-tenths of it, are uh, young bees that get out there for the kickoff. As long as they do the job, that's good. Uh, yep, Bainey took the Bainey direct snap. And the Bearcats are just not moving that defensive line for Central. I think number 55, Landon Williams, was in with the other host of Central Scarlet Dragons on the stop. The loss of three on the play. Bring up second down. Second 13. down and 12 for the Bearcats at their own 28-yard line. Okay. Harmon's pass tipped by number 56. Okay. Oh, the other lives for Central. Okay. Pass ball's incomplete. When the ball game is over, there will be more of a band presentation after the game. So you people interested in the band, it'll be on the other, where that means, another channel. Yep. Okay. Live stream. I'll announce that a couple times this half. I think they're still looking at third and 12. Scarlet Dragons. Runs up. He's got a little running room. Get, trying to get to the sideline, and he just can't do Aaron it. Aaron Harmon on the carry. Pushed out of bounds by number four, Hunter Klotz. Harmon's a decent basketball player. Anyone Gain a basketball five on player? The play. No, I meant our guy. Cook back to punt for the Bearcats. The snap back. He punts it. We do have a punter. He's going to fair catch it. I'm not sure why he fair caught that again. Fair catch by number one, Demetrius Harbaugh. We do have a punter, and that is Tyson uh, Cook. We'll bring Central to first down and 10 at the 27-yard line. So the Scarlet Dragons will take over at the 29-yard line. 28-yard line. Check that 28-yard line. First down and 10 Central. 10 minutes, 58 seconds remaining in the third quarter. We're actually playing at building two. It's going to fall in for the first time. In my time there, we have left side, which is nice. So we want to be up two and two. Double slot. Back to the quarterback. Just a quick out to number nine. Completed for about nine yards to uh, Josh Biesinger. 
Pass complete. Nine yard gain for Central. Bring up second down and one. Second down and one now for the Scarlet Dragons at their own 37 yard line. They come out, they do have a tight end in the game and slot right. Huntington runs a running back up there, or a linebacker up on the line of scrimmage. He busts through the right side of the line out to the 45 yard line. Good for a first down for the Scarlet Dragons. 32, Hunter Smith on the carry. First down for the Scarlet Dragons at the 45-yard line. Timeout on the field. Officials timeout on the field. As trainer Dan and player on the field for the Bearcats. Thank you. Dr. Buzz is out there with trainer Dan. And both teams retreat to the sideline for some instructions. So it's time for me to give you a commercial. If you want to contribute to the jo uh, the Gettick, Courtney Gettick fund toward the scoreboard just send a check payable to the War Vets Field Scoreboard Committee. Send it to Jim Zalzik at 2401 Taylor Thank Avenue Dixon, uh, in Huntington, 16652. As we return to action, okay. be first down in 10 Central. At the I've been receiving line. checks. And uh, even though it's been four weeks now, they, uh, they're still trickling in. To get him off the field, Central has the ball. Huntington running linebackers up there. They got a little bit of rush. Hones down down the middle. It completed and brought down by Harmon, number seven, at the 22-yard line. Greg on the reception. Nice throw, though, by First down at the 23-yard line for Central. Jeff Hohenstein coming over, getting his next call from his dad, A.J., on the visitor's sideline. 32-yard pass play. Two guys in the backfield, boxcars. Back, fakes it to him. He rolls right. He's got... Number four deep in the end zone, but uh, Hunter caught a little too far for Hunter to catch up to it. Coverage by Luke Brown. Second down and ten. Bring up second down for Central. <sighs> second down and ten. Box cars and now 26 goes off to the right in a slot. Fakes the handoff. He's going to go deep left. And Boyle, good defensive play. Oh, uh, no. But there is a flag down there. Matt Crossley, penalty marker on the play. Which way? I think it's offense. Yeah. Yep. Interference on uh, number five, uh, Boyles. Devin Boyles. He had the height advantage with balls under thrown or thrown inside a little bit, where he had to go over the defender to try to get to the ball, and they call the penalty on the offense. So it's brought back to the 40-yard line, where it's going to be. Replay the down, but it's uh, second down and 25. From the 38, we've got slot right, slot left. Running back now is to the right of the quarterback. He rolls right, 
throws underneath, but he had to go to a knee to field it and on caught it at the 33, 34 yard line. Down on contact. Third down now, and about 22 yards to go. So for the first time, Huntington's have, Huntington have, the Bearcats have the Scarlet Third Dragons in a one. little bit of a hole here. Third down. But I'm sure A.J. feels pretty good about his defense right now that this is four down territory for the Scarlet Dragons. It's a tight double slot now. Go in motion, they shuffle pass. To number one, he turns the corner, and he outruns this guy, but he's knocked out of bounds. For Central. It is uh, Braylon Ronk on the stop for Demetrius Huntington. Harbaugh. He's got some speed, and he's outrun Huntington to the sideline and got vertical bring up a fourth down to the 20 yard line. And they Eight still minutes. have uh, six yards to go. Fourth down and five in. seconds remaining in the third quarter. Be fourth and six from oh. the twenty-yard line. I thought he said thirty-five seconds left. Fourth down and six. Harbaugh is going to keep that ball in the kid's hands. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah, yep, Hohenstein. No now he's going to throw. Nice oh, catch to number five, to so Devin Boyles. And number five, Devin Boyles, and, and central touchdown. Central touchdown is Honestein kept the ball high, deep in the end zone, right under the goal post for Boyles to catch. And he's got the hands. He's a basketball player, isn't he? He is. I got a feeling he's a pretty good basketball player. Yeah, he's pretty, he, he catches that ball like. That's why we don't play them. Ooh. 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 Is that the JV punter or the extra point? Kick, kick is no. no good on the extra point. So with eight minutes, 12 seconds remaining in the third quarter. The key's extra point is no good, too low. But the score three. now here with eight minutes and 12 seconds left in the third period, it's. Central 40, Huntington 3. Yeah, this is a reminder for parents and anybody else that was paying attention to the band and marching band at halftime. They will be performing after the game on the live stream. Or you can please stay and watch. Either way, check in and listen to Mrs. Canner and Mr. Canner's group perform. Did you folks catch all that? <laughs> Or should I repeat that? Should I repeat they, that they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my next commercial. <laughs> Keith to kick off for Central. So, cooking wrong back deep. For right now, Bearcats. you're if you're uh, coaching the Bearcats. You're just trying to put together some plays together, something to get the, the team up a little, a little bit confident that you got to show some improvement from game one to game four. They're not going to come back to win this, but they are got to show some improvement here. They did run off two first downs in a row here, and that looked pretty good there in the second period. Here's the kickoff. It's high, but not too deep. It's down at the 13-yard line. Oh, nice hit by number 18. Number 18, Jason Clark on the stop for Central. Jason Clark, a sophomore. And that's the way you get somebody's attention. That'll bring up first down and 10 for the You American make a hit like that, you're getting your coach's line. attention. Eight minutes quarter you feel you're not getting enough time and you're put on special teams make a hit like that and you'll see things are going to change the following week Huntington has the ball hand it off no fake the handoff pitch Ronk on the carry Ronk on the pitch takes it get some yardage five I think made that hit Boyles. Devin Boyles. 
on the tackle. And number 32, Hunter Smith on the stop for Central. Boyles might have Dana put him back a little bit on that hit. Bring up second down and five for the Bearcats from the 30-yard line. Good play there. Two backs now back there. Slot to the right, to the short side of the field. Split in. Now we come in motion. Underneath. Back against the green. Bainey's getting some yardage. Miles Bainey's is carry. getting some yardage. At least somebody out there is getting fired up. He gets out to the 38-37 yard down. line. And a first down for the Bearcats. First down and you and need that one guy, one line. or two guys, to get the rest of them fired up. You know, just tell the score, the guys, don't look at the scoreboard. Just look at this series. Let's do the best series possible. Goes in motion to the left. Hand it off. Get out to the 39, gain of two. Bailey on the carry. 71, Josh Wade on the stop for Central. Gain of one on the play. Bring up second down to nine for the Bearcats. AJ come back here to see his uh, number five. Devin Boyles, how's he feel? Just a little ankle injury, but with this game the way it is. 35. Ronk crosses the 45 to the 40. Ronk on the carry for the Bearcats. Seven yard line. That's going to be third down and five for the Cats. 42. Baker on the stop for Central. 42 yard line. He's got to get to the 47. Ball's on the 43 yard line. Yeah, 43 yard line. <laughs> Didn't I say that? That's what I heard. Third That's down it, Derek. For the Bearcats. He's right. He's right. Close. Double slot. Going in motion. Harmon, Harmon, Harmon. Brown out here. He catches it to the 50 and gets across the 50 Harmon into central ter territory. To number 32, Miles Bainey. And Miles Bainey gets it into After the reception, Scarlet Dragon the territory. The, the Bearcats. Bearcats are moving the ball a little bit. First down and 10 at the 46-yard line. Just double-checking the numbers out there. Central defense run, still out there. there. There's another run up the middle. Gets to the 41 or 2-yard line. Good run of about uh, 4 or 5 yards. 26, Parker Gregg on the stop for Central. Gain of 5 on the play. Bring up second down and 5. We're at 4.30 left in the third period. Central, 40. Huntington three. Huntington now goes under center, and you're under knock Rock, left. Rock 71, then. Knock left Rock gets him down to the 40-yard line. 71. Making Josh the play. Wade on the stop. Is the number central. 71. Bring up third down and four. Short gain on the play. Josh Wade on the tackle. Four minutes remaining in the third quarter. And we're at the stage of the ball game here. It's uh, third down and three. Huntington's in what I'd call at this point four down territory. Back over the middle. Knocked down by number 32. Harmon's pass tipped away by number 32, Hunter Smith. Hunter Smith on the knockdown. It's going to be fourth down. It's going to be fourth down. And four about the four. from the 40-yard line. Shane Thomas is taking this. As, we might as well go for it. Boyle's ankle is definitely swollen. Okay, what? I wouldn't waste him. I wouldn't put him back in the ball game. He's a good receiver. Here comes. Uh, Clearfield next week. Yeah. Who's that? Number four. Underneath. Cook's pass. Incomplete. incomplete. And Scarlet Dragons will take over at their own 40-yard uh, line. It'll be a turnover on downs. 
Nice little drive, though. Central they got a couple first downs on that. From the 40 yard line. Two minutes, 59 Huntington is not the quarter. speediest team in the league. If you run a spread offense, you definitely have Huntington at a disadvantage. So it's first down for the uh, Scarlet Dragons. 240 left in the third quarter. Holmstein hands it off. He runs off tackle, crosses the 50-yard line, got 11 yards. Fumble! Crosses the 50-yard line. Or to the 50-yard line. Enough for a first down for Central. First down and 10 from midfield. We're at 2.20 now left in the third period. Going back to throw. Hohenstein's going to throw another one. And it's out of reach of Klotz. Incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Scarlet Dragon. Bearcats will be home next week against Belfont. And they go to Clearfield where it's only going to be visual. Uh, feedback, and then come home against Penn's Valley. Second down to 10, snap back under center, off tackle, and he breaks it outside. He's going down the left sideline, 25-20, and the Bearcats hit him at the inside the 20-yard line. His number 32. Hunter Smith on the carry for His Central. Hunter Smith. Oh my goodness. He's only a freshman. Central fan. You got a good team coming up here. <laughs> because there are some underclassmen out here looking real sharp. They're now under center with an eye formation behind them. They're just going knock right. I think he's doing that intentionally. AJ knows I like to knock right and knock left. That's the power Gary play off Central. tackle. Just let the cent or the uh, fullback lead. The tight end doubles Official down. On the field. And the fullback, there's a lot of different ways of blocking, but the fullback will uh, will kick out the end, and they run inside off tackle. And like I thought, I got a feeling uh, this will be the last series for this offense. Out to the wing, caught it, and he's in for the touchdown on the right side. Pass complete. Yes, number, number one, one, Demetrius Harbaugh. Demetrius Harbaugh on the catch. For Demetrius does have some speed. At least he's a senior. Get him off the field. <laughs> Now the backup quarterbacks uh, warming right up right now, so I got a feeling going for the extra point. might be the, the evening now for Hohenstein. Boy, that's what I like to see. There's number four, Tyson good. Cook, rushed that punter and dove to try to block and just missed it. But that's what you look for when you're watching film and you're getting blown out. So right now it's 47 to three. But the time, the, the time that players will loaf because they're getting killed is on extra points. They feel, oh, I'm not going to block it. I'm just going to. But you find out who the players are when they're on the extra point block team. And number four, Tyson Cook came hard in his dive, just missed the ball. It went through. It won't be in the box score. But the coaches that are paying attention, it's in their head. Now some of these guys will play on. So with 41 seconds left in the third period, it's 47 to three. Central. Now if you're Central, you'll probably, the next time you get out there on offense, you'll probably run JV 
team on uh, on offense. If you're Huntington, you keep running your top guys and, you know, maybe put in, uh, what is it? They're 0-3 uh, right now. That's only the third third game yet. But soon, maybe the fourth or fifth game, you're starting thinking about, you know, getting a new quarterback in there, maybe move Harmon. He's one of their better athletes. He's a decent basketball player. Oh, there's a pop-up. 76 catches. Whoa! Gets out to the 40-yard line. 76. Sam Culbertson. Number 77. Fans are fired up. And the kick. Who returned it? I believe it's Culbertson. Culbertson on the return for the Bearcats. He's at right guard. Bring up first down and 10 for the Bearcats at the 41-yard line. I can never think of Luke Brown's name. There's a quick screen. Bronk evades the first tackler and gets out to the 45. So Huntington gets a uh, about a five-yard gain. Bronk is down. Clock stops at 7.7, as I believe. Bronk is down. So we're nearing the, uh, we're seven seconds away from the end of the third quarter. We're down 47 to three. And uh, we do want to send a message out to all the band people out there that the Huntington Band will do more work after the game. They will be blowing their horns and playing music. So you want to check with the other channel? Yep. The other channel? The other stream? They'll find it when the bear cat is. The stream or? It's channel to me. Yeah, it's all channel. Twisting your money. Funny you should say that. <laughs> Second down and six for the bear cat. Huntington takes a snap. Rolling right is Harmon. He's got a man down there. Catch it and go. 20, 10, 5. He's in. He is in touchdown. The one mistake you make as a defensive back is he took his eyes off of. Who was that? Cal Barnett. He took his eyes off of Barnett to look back at the quarterback. Because it looked like the quarterback was going to scramble. You do not take your eyes off of the receiver. And Barnett was able to get deep. He had him by seven or eight yards. It's just a matter of catching the ball. And then not running the people trying to chase you down. And he did. He made it. And it's 47 to nine. And we're waiting for Cook's extra point. It's down. It's up. And it's no good. Cook's extra point attempt is no good. I think those guys are crazy down there. I thought that, that was good. To the end of the third quarter. <laughs> score Central 47. I wanted that 10th point real bad. But you build on that. We used to run a drill. I would tell the quarterback, call this running, this pass play. So they break the huddle, and I would call the quarterback back, and I said, quarterback. Do not throw it to the intended receiver. I want you to scramble out of here and hang on to the ball for another three or four seconds. I want to see what the receiver is going to do. When the play breaks down, you, either, you, you tell your receivers, the deeper guys come back to the ball, the shallow guys go deep. So we do that a couple of times. He's not throwing the ball. Yeah, that's right. And in the game, there's going to be situations where he's not throwing the ball. Twenty-five and one is deep now. Harbaugh and Cade Rule is central. Coach Baker starts slowly but surely working other guys back in the lineup. 
I'm going to assume Ryland Doherty might be the next quarterback. I just don't think he wants to put his son back out there. Here's the Oh, my goodness. What a kickoff. Right back to the four-yard line. He brings it out up the right side, and Huntington brings him down at the 30-yard line. Cook's kickoff. Yeah. Hohenstein's uh, night is over. As going out to number quarterback. Going out to quarterback now is number 10. If it is 10, Central yeah. Have first down and 10 from the 30-yard line. Dalton Metzger will go out and quarterback here for Central. All right, the chief of police wants my attention, so. Under center, a little off tackle play. This guy is a small Rule guy, but Rule gets back to the line of scrimmage, second down number 32, Miles and Bain. 10. Did, did you hear a horn? Maybe going out that way. He's trying to get famous. Hold on, what one he drives by? Go out to Cedar Tree, turn around and come back and do it again. <laughs> I'm focused on this game. Second and ten. We can get we can get the punt formation in there if this defense holds them. They're going off tackle right, but he runs right into 76. Put him down. 76 for the Bearcats is uh, Sam Colbertson. Colbertson on the stop. So we're going to look at third down and maybe 12. Clark on the carry for Central. So this is more like it. Brings up a long third down for Central. It's just you got to be patient in this comeback trail the Bearcats have to go through. I would sure like to see a stop and a punt here. Third down and 12. They fake it, roll left. He's a left-handed throw. He throws. Ah. Oh. Yep. We had a pass Master's interference pass intended for number on number 11. 17, Luke Brown. We had thir number third down 10, and 12. Dalton Metzger. 's pass was intended for Metzger. So they're going to mark it off from the line of scrimmage. Brings it out to 14 yards to the 44-yard line, and it's a first down for Central. Penalty Just marker on the play, pass interference, will result on a first down for Central. So a first down and 10 from the 43-yard line. Doherty under center with a Deep eye formation back there. Hand it off. 25 rule. And he's gone. He is small, but he is fast. Rule with a carry for Central on a big run. I don't know. We have heights and weights here. Number 25 rule. Sophomore. Yep, 5'5", 144. First down I think I came out of the womb at 144. <laughs> nice run. By number 25, Cade Rule. Sophomore. He's under center. Going to hand it off up the middle. It's not Rule. He had to take a break on that last run. Baney on the tackle for Huntington. Ball. Mason deal on the carry for Central. Ball's on the 20-yard line. Stop for the Bearcats. Yeah, they're getting back in the game now. No gain on the play. We'll bring up second down and 10. Eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the ball game. The reason it's not a tight eye formation. He's back there deep enough. And when he gets the handoff, this watches. 
he gets to pick the hole. He gets to see where the hole is. It, it opens up, Rule on the carry and he gets central. to see the hole. He's fast enough that he can still hit the hole in time. So they let him line up a little deeper so he can see where the hole is. They just ran off tackle left and got uh, on the stop again for the Bearcats. They only got one yard on it. You, got two yards on you play. hope that the Huntington starting down linebackers down are getting to the ball. Yard line for Central. Eight minutes remaining in the game. 47 to 9. Huntington trails here. They're under center again. They're going to fake the handoff. Throw it. And oh, picked off. Picked off. Huntington has it. 40, 30. He's cutting back. And he crosses the 50 to the the uh, Scarlet Dragons 45 yard line. By number six, Kyle Barnett. Kyle Barnett. He returns it to the Who caught a touchdown line. pass earlier. So Barnett is making a statement for the Bearcats. And that's what you do in games like this. He's made a touchdown catch and now he has an interception. And we may see a little bit more of uh, Cal Barnett. He stays in the game. Probably a wide receiver over here. Yes, he's going to be over here on our side of the field at a flanker. We got a tight end here. He's at a flanker. And we got a couple players coming in late here for Huntington. So Bearcats got to call timeout. 726 left. No. Can't be. No, it can't be. <laughs> Come on, it can't be. Pushes the Bearcats back five, first down and 15. Okay, it is. All right, there he goes in motion. Up the middle. And Bainey is going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. So it's going to be second down and 10 for Huntington. Uh, Bearcats a little slow getting that play in last play. On the stop for Central. Darren Harmon still at quarterback. Gain of five on the play. We'll bring up second down and ten from the 46. But yard uh, line. he's got uh, 40 in there. Well, that's right. You said uh, Sheffield's yep. now 40. Correct. Come in motion to the short side. Snap back. He's looking. He's got some time. Harmon's going to run to the right. Cross the line of scrimmage. Spins out of a tackle and gets across the 40-yard line. Still doesn't have the first down, but he made a nice run to the 39-yard line. down from behind. So it's going to be third down and four, third and three. Bring up a third down and three for the Bearcats. Six minutes remaining in the game. I need the skilled players break the huddle. Third down of four. They oh, they got somebody in motion other than Brown. Draw play up the middle, and uh, Bainey's got some room down to the 20 yard line. Miles Bainey on the it carry. Is Miles Bainey. His run results in a first down for the Bearcats. 12 injured an ankle for first down and 10 at the 21 yard line. Caden Fisher, Five sophomore. Minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the game. And he got he finally got himself off the field. First down Huntington now at the central 20 yard line. Got a flanker left, tight end, flanker right. Slot left. Rolling right. Harmon looking to throw. He throws Harman deep it. Harman running out of room. He caught the ball. Harman it's on the far end of the end zone. I thought he was running out of room there, but he caught the ball. Beat in bounds. And it's a touchdown for Huntington. God, Central only brought their second team. 21-yard pass play. So a nice throw. Nice catch down there. All right, now I heard the horn. Two-point conversion attempt. 
That's my friend, the chief of police. Snap. Up the middle. He's in for two. That was pretty simple. We spread them out. I don't know why the pros don't do that. Spread them out a little bit and then run up the middle. Why play 11 on 11? You can play 7 on 7. I'm telling you, folks. Score is Huntington 47. Excuse me. Central 47, Huntington 17. 5-11 left in the game. Extra points good. It's 47-17. That's what I say the pros. They're so big. Why do they have to go 11-on-11? 11 11? Spread them out. Go 7-on-7. Seven seven. You got more room to operate. All of a sudden, there's not as many linebackers back there because I got to spread out and help on the pass. I don't know. I'm just. I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to calm down. <laughs> Huntington does it. I think Bill Belichick ought to be watching the Huntington film. <laughs> Cook to kick off for the Bearcats. You know what? Well, Central's sort of looking for it. Rule and Yingling back deep. And again, central. we're not going to catch him, but. Five minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the game. You can always try an onside kick and see what happens. As long as he's running the second unit. Let's see what happens. Now, nope, he nails it. Has a little more air than possible at the 10 yard line. To the 15 20 rule to the left. He, oh, he. Whoa. You see, he put the brakes on him. He got five more yards because he put the brakes on and cut back inside. He got five more yards. Uh, you guys going to have to sprain his ankle or something. That kid is good. That kid is good. Brown on the stop for the Bearcats. I'm only kidding, Mom. He's, he's a good player. From the 31-yard line. I don't want Mrs. Brown back here at Martinsburg. Four minutes, Four minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's good. He's a good player. Under center, and there's Rule. He, see how deep he is? He's about three yards, four yards behind him. They hand it off to Rule, trying to find that seam, because he's got the speed. If he can Rule get on the carry. through the line of scrimmage to the linebacker level, he might be able to avoid the them. For the Bearcats. Good running back. Couple more substitutions going in play. for AJ Honestein. Players being run From in. Yard line. Four minutes Jeff Honestein never saw a play in the third period, and that's good thinking by uh, Coach Baker. Oh, off tackle! And that's why you see that. There he goes. There he goes. We're, well, we might catch him. Yeah, they try to drag Rule the ball down. The Rule gets drugged down at the eight-yard line, but there's a good example. That off-tackle hole opened up, and all of a sudden he's in the secondary, and he's going to outrun linebackers. It's just a matter of secondary. He ran him down from an angle at the eight-yard line. Matt he Crosby has some speed. I used to run like that, Derek. Cool you know that. Oh, they, yeah? Yeah, but they still made me a center. <laughs> but with this run, it'll be a first down and goal for Central from the eight-yard line. I was a kicker for a while. Then we didn't have anybody to snap the ball back, so I lost my job because they had to snap it. Hand off. 18. 18. Oh, fumbled the ball. Fumble on the Central gets the ball back. Yeah, I was a, I was a kicker. I'm ready to go into the season, and they said, we don't have anybody to snap the ball back. Oh, these are floating back. Salzy, go up there and go up there and snap. I said, I'm kicking. Nope, not now. You're up there snapping, and we got another kicker here. Bobby Young, go in there and kick it. First game, he makes a couple extra points. Next thing you know, I'm snapping the rest of the year. Lost it down. Well, we got second 11. They're going to run up the middle. A little blast. And we got a little ankle tackle by number 40. Uh, Bryson Sheffield. Sheffield on the stop 
four. Come on, Sheffy. Put some shoulder pads into it. Luke Betway School district's paying good money for those shoulder pads. <laughs> Betway gains three. Bring up third down and goal from the eight for Central. Third and eight for Central now. Twenty fives in the backfield. They're under center. Off tackle left. And we've a couple of broken tackles in for a touchdown. Rule brings the tackles and slides in for another Scarlet Dragons touchdown. He's hard to get your hands on him. Just when uh Hohenstein thought he was Hohenstein thought he was done for the night. He's got to run out there and hold for this extra point. Now they rethink this. Yeah, 14's going to hold. Kotko for the right. extra point try. Adam Ryland Doherty. Lyman runs off here late. That should be... Funky. <laughs> what the heck? Was there any whistle? No. The <laughs> extra point is no good. You didn't hear a whistle, did you? <laughs> After the score by Central, the score of the game is. Okay, who's in charge of extra points up there? Not Two minutes, three seconds remaining in the game. Yeah, Central has proven they're one of the better teams in the league. Just a reminder. They beat some good teams here early on. To hear the band from halftime complete their show. Mr. and Mrs. Canner do a fabulous job. Please tune in. You can switch to the other channel, the other stream, the other live stream. Do you have enough? Check out the Bearcat Athletic channel to check out the other stream. The other stream on Bearcat Athletics? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, the band wants to put on a little show here afterwards. they got a few more numbers to do. And uh, they're going to do it after the show. this show is over. A little 25. He's being buried by some good players. And Miles Beatty back deep for the Bearcats. Yeah, Central's got some players coming back for next year. No doubt about that. Topco to kick off for Central. Two minutes, three seconds remaining in the game. Topco kicking off. I'd, I'd be bringing him up, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Pops it up about the 40-yard, 35-yard line. And run up the middle and get to the 45, 46 yard, 45 yard line. 158 left in the ball game. Central 53, Huntington 17. Culbertson on the return. Twenty-eight bright broom ball on the stop for Central. Huntington will have first down and ten from the 45 yard line. Minute 45 seconds remaining in the game. Huntington's ready to go with a new quarterback back here. 21? That's no, Crockley. Well, he missed that. Fumble on the play. Recovered Ball goes back 15 Matt yards. Crockley. So second down and 25 for the Bearcats. We're going to call it 23 yards. Second down, 23. Lost of 13 on the play. Second down, 13 for the Bearcats at the 32-yard line. Snap back right to him that time. Off tackle. Nothing. We got uh, the JV team for both teams out there on the field right now. Keith, Keith on the stop. Huntington with the ball. The backs are still trying to figure out where to go. 
They still have 14 seconds to figure it out. Boy, they're too tight on him. Oh, jeez. Fourth down and uh, Mason Leonard on the stop. Excuse Country me. Mal. Mason Benford on the stop for six seconds. Central five four. The carry by number twenty two. This game is over. No game. Game is over. Central is a fifty three seventeen winner over Central Huntington. Central goes to four zero. Huntington goes to. Oh, and four. The will Huntington will be back in action next Friday here against Belfont. against Belfont. So the final score is Central 53, Huntington 17. Go to the other network to catch the Huntington band. Go to the Bearcat. Is that right? Bearcat Network? Bearcat Athletics. Bearcat Athletics. The band will be out there in probably about four to five minutes. So you'll have a chance to get to that. Bearcat website, banner, whatever that's called in the computer. <laughs> so. Bearcat Athletics channel on YouTube. Same place you're watching this right now. There's another live stream for the band. Giddy up. 53-17, game's over. Enjoy the band. Jim Zazik, over and out.